Keisha is a 10 year old girl who suffers with cerebral palsy. She was once told that she could never play football and the sport, quite simply, was not for her. For the last six months though, thanks to the Stoke City Community Trust, she is enjoying the beautiful game to the absolute max in sessions just like this one here at St. Thomas Primary in Kidsgrove. This is a Wildcat session that we're putting on sort of in the community. It's uh, like an introduction to girls football, so the mass majority of them here wouldn't have played football before. Trying to get girls involved in sort of sport outside of school. General theme is we always do like a little bit of a fun warm up, get them involved, get them talking. A little bit of ball each work, so we're challenging the, the ones that are a little bit more used to it, the ones that are a little bit older, and then we'll split them off into games like this, so they are getting used to sort of the actual game of football. I think it'd be quite easy just to go into areas where it's lads that like football. It's nice that we're doing something a little bit different to the stereotypes. I have a great team. We just like have fun and enjoy our time. It's not like it's any stress or anything like that because we know football's fun and it's not like you need to work your hardest but it's, it's trying your best. So that's what we do, we try our best and we show who we can be. Football is not just about showing off your skills, it's about respect towards other people and it's about anyone can play. If there wasn't respect in football, football wouldn't be anything. At St Thomas's we're all about sport for all, um, equal opportunity, so it doesn't matter about our abilities or disabilities, sport is for all. Um, Keisha is always welcoming that, uh, as is anybody. Um, and she's absolutely thriving here. Uh, her confidence is just emanating from her every single day. The first day I met her, she's like, football is my favourite, absolutely love it. Um, and as we just got to know each other, she says she's going to play for England one day. And do you know what? I would not put it past that at all. She can truly believe in it, she can do it. I know now in terms of cerebral palsy, she doesn't see it as a barrier. She sees it as an opportunity instead. And that sort of change in mindset of her is just beautiful to see. Just really grateful, really, to Stoke City Community Trust to come in. Um, and provide the opportunity to the school because without that we wouldn't be having this conversation she wouldn't I mean look at the smile on her face you know she she won't be having these opportunities from the Wildcats she's gone off and played um, cerebral palsy football in other areas as well. Yeah. 